welcome to java forum now i am going to show you how to install alpine linux 3.19 on virtualbox uh, 7.0 so this is my uh, updated version of virtualbox 7.0 and alpine linux 3.19 is the latest released as of now so first step is i am creating on alpine linux 3.19 virtual machine so this is the name of the virtual machine and providing the destination path where alpine linux 3.19 virtual machine is getting stored next i am browsing the iso dvd iso image file so this is the name of the iso image file and linux flavor i am choosing other linux 64 bit okay click the next button next i am going to allocate 8 gb ram and 4 cp cores next 40 gb virtual hard disk okay now once again go to settings system motherboard uncheck the floppy optical drive is the first device in boot order pointing device is usb tablet network nat we need internet connection for this okay we need internet connection to download and install the packages okay let us start alpine linux 3.19 Okay, login as a root, just type root. Okay, so uh, first step is we are going to run the Alpine uh, setup. So this is the script we need to execute. Setup iPhone Alpine. Setup iPhone Alpine. So this is the script we need to execute. Okay, choose the key map. So US, US is my key map. Once again, type US. Okay, so give some host name to this uh, machine that is name or uh, name to this computer. Okay, Alpine Desktop .org. Next interface, so ETHO that is uh, Internet Card. Okay. Choose DHCP. DHCP. So I am not uh, needed any manual network configuration, choose N, that's it. So now provide the uh, root password, okay. Now provide the root password, provide the time zone, so Asia is my location, Asia, Calcutta. So proxy, I am not having any, any proxy, none. Network time protocol, I am selecting Crony. So, APK mirror. So, here I am going to select find and use the fastest mirror. Okay. So, I am selecting the option F. Okay. This will take some time. It will scan all the mirrors and it will choose uh, which is the fastest one. Okay and it will automatically update it to the uh, repository file ok so mirror is updated now i am going to create one login user so i am going to uh, provide the login username full name of the user same only so provide the password to the login user so enter ssh key so i am not having any ssh key so i am giving none so i am selecting open ssh okay now uh, disk and install so select sda so sda is the name of the virtual hard disk sda now I am going to select the option SIS 
cis select the option cis okay so uh, right changes to the disk yes okay so uh, your hard disk is uh, formatted and operating system is installed so installation is completed you can reboot the machine so i am switching off the machine go to virtual box settings system motherboard now hard disk will be the only device in the boot order i'm checking the optical drive okay so uh, start the alpine linux 3.19 okay login as a java form user okay now i am going to uh, install desktop okay desktop configuration i am going to do the desktop configuration so please note down the packages uh, one by one setup xorg base okay setup xorg base is a script we need to run Okay, so make sure that you are logging as a root user. Okay, only root user can run the script. Logging as a root user. Now you run setup xorg iphone base. Setup iphone xorg iphone base. Okay, so this xorg base is a very very important thing. Okay, so after installing xorg base, I am going to install. PCI utils, APK add PCI utils. Next, APK add XF86 video iPhone FB dev, XF86 iPhone video Intel, XF86 iPhone video iPhone Visa, XF86 iPhone input iPhone VM mouse. So note down this command. So I have already provided the list of commands in the description of this video. Okay, so please go through the description of the video before I proceed to the install. All the commands, whatever I used, I have provided in the description of this video. Yes. Now, uh, yes, now very, very important step. So I am going to install the genome desktop. Okay. So I'm going to install genome desktop. Uh, among that, I am going to install lots of utilities. So along with Genome, I'm going to install a lot of utilities like LibreOffice, Firefox, FileZilla, okay, VLC Media Player, etc. etc. I'm going to install. So I have provided this command in the description of this video. Okay, this will install everything, whatever you needed for desktop. Yes, so Genome Desktop and its uh, utilities are uh, installed successfully now very very important steps okay now very very important step apk add linux headers apk add linux headers yes so linux header is already installed i think okay so if you did not install a linux headers means please install linux headers okay
next i am going to add some services to the start of rc update add you know rc update add dbus so these are the services needed okay rc update add gdm gdm is a genome desktop manager okay so these three services i have added so that when uh, operating system start these three services also will be started okay so okay now i am rebooting the machine so let us see what is going to happen Yes. So now Alpine NX 3.19 is booted in GUI mode. That is Genome Desktop. Okay. So I am changing the display settings. Yes, so I can able to access the file manager. So open in console. So terminal also I can able to access. Okay. So let us check some basic applications whether it's installed or not. Yes, music. It's a music player. Genome music. Software. So this application will install all the software we needed. So add or remove programs uh, in Windows similar to that software. Next uh, list of applications. So these are the applications I installed. So I think uh, FileZilla FTP software. Next, uh, Firefox. Next, uh, Black Box Terminal. So, next, let me try LibreOffice. Yes, so LibreOffice is working fine. So VLC Media Player. So this is also a VLC Media Player also is opening without any issues. Okay, uh, so very uh, essential applications are running. So no issues as of now. So now what I am going to do, I am going to install VirtualBox guest editions. So last time uh, guest editions has failed for us. So this time we are going to succeed the guest editions. So login as a root user. Okay, so apk add. Virtual box guest editions. Space virtual box guest editions. iPhone X11. So these two packages are mandatory. I am installing at the same time. Single shot I am installing these two packages. Now let me add the virtual box service to the startup of this operating system. RC update add virtual box guest editions and RC update add virtual box DRM client. Okay, so virtual box guest edition setup is completed. 
so i am going to power off this mission okay so now uh, go to uh, virtual box settings general advanced uh, shard clipboard bi directional drag and drop bi directional okay shard folders so i am going to mount one windows host mission uh, folder so check auto mount okay so now let us start the alpine linux after enabling the shard clipboard and uh, shard folders so now first up i am going to check whether shard clipboard is working or not so i am going to type some command in the black box terminal after typing the command i am going to copy paste the terminal output copy paste yes I can able to copy paste from uh, Alpine Linux 3.19 virtual machine to Windows host machine. So let me try from Windows host machine to Alpine Linux 3.19 virtual machine. Yes. I can able to copy paste. So we have succeeded uh, virtual box guest additions uh, this time. So shared clipboard is working fine. So now let me try shared folder. Okay, so you can see shared folder is already mounted here, but you can't access uh, directly. So I am opening one terminal. So login as a root user, only root user can read the content of the shared folder. So shared folder is located under slash media. So under that you can see the shared folder. See here, I am able to access the content of shared folder. So shared folder also is succeeded. Okay. So virtual box guest editions uh, is succeeded in alpine lux 3.19 uh, genome desktop finally so alpine lux 3.19 installation on virtual box 7.0 with guest edition is successful so all the applications are working fine for me so you can uh, post your issues in comments.